because it don't make no sense how I got my pre-workout, my headphones, my actual jump rope, lotion, my pre-workout from the other day, and my shoes with my gym clothes are on the back seat. Like, this is not gonna cut it. I want to vlog more. I feel like in 2023, I did not vlog consistently. Target sold out of all of the Yetis and they barely have anything left. what's up welcome back to my channel today is january the 4th it is thursday 2024 and i cannot tell y'all how blessed i am i am blessed because guess what i woke up this morning for one and for two it's another day and i am here to see it and so i just wanted to say i am blessed and i hope you are too i hope you are having a great day today whichever day you are watching this for one and for two i just want y'all to you know stay motivated and remain positive even though there are some things that you know may cause us to mentally think about negative things like whatever those negative things are that you are thinking about go ahead and dismiss them right now it's not that serious you know uh, hopefully ain't nobody piss you off hopefully ain't nobody rub you the wrong way hopefully ain't nobody you know say something to get you upset and make you have a bad day because for one it's early it's early so when you first wake up in the morning don't let nobody put you in a bad mood like just don't do it so um yeah i'm blessed to see another day um and i'm just i'm just happy about being alive you know what i'm saying like i have times and moments where i feel you know a little down sometimes but today is not one of those days and i just want to encourage y'all and motivate y'all because we will get through this one way or another like we just got to take it one day at a time um so y'all know I'm Active Duty Army. If y'all are, if you are new to my channel, my name is Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. I am Active Duty Army. I know y'all see this nose ring. I'm about to take it out before I go inside the office, but I got it in November when I went on a trip to Aspen. If you have not seen that video, go check it out and you will see me get my nose pierced. And so being that it is January, it's still kind of like freshly new. And so I don't want my hole to close. And so when I get home, when I get off of work, I put it in and I do not take it out until I get ready to go to work walk inside the office the very next day okay and so now I have both sides of my nose pierced this one is okay for me not to put a nose a ring in it it's not gonna close but this one you know I feel like I, I don't even want to take that risk or that chance and it close up so yeah let me go ahead and take it out took my nose ring out I put on some lip gloss and the lip gloss that I am wearing is called champagne toast from bath and body works um, it's just extremely cold outside and I don't like my lips to be ashy or dry looking and I exfoliate every single day I exfoliate my lips every single day and I you know I, I just it just feels good I don't want to have dry lips because my lips are too big but today is gonna be a great day so today's video will consist of me talking to y'all about this new coffee that I am trying I'm also going to go to Target because they have some crazy Valentine's Day stuff out right now because y'all know the next holiday coming up well the next holiday is Martin Luther King Day which is we have a four day from the 12th through the 15th I believe um, and then for the month of February we have another four day I think it's like the 16th through the 19th 16 17 18 19 but um, you know Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday and I will be going to Target because I've seen a lot of things on Instagram which I will you know post or show y'all right here they have like some cute coffee cups they have like these cute pink stanley cups which i already have a stanley cup but i want a pink one i want a pink one for valentine's day because i want to be like girly girly and so i'm gonna I'm take you out on a trip with me to target and then um maybe or maybe not possibly get some boba i don't know yet like i'm extremely hungry and i haven't had any breakfast so i don't know if i'm gonna go get some boba like i need some food especially since i plan on working out after I get off work like I got my sneakers I got my workout clothes and I am staying consistent y'all when I tell y'all yesterday I got home and I had every 
excuse in my mind to not work out because for one I was just like you know appointment at 8 o'clock so I can't wake up I could have but to wake up extra early to go work out I was just like nah I'll wait until I get off then I got off and it was kind of late and so I was just like well I ain't gonna go now it's late but then when I got home I was like girl like you doing the most like you need to work out you just created a whole new Instagram called accountable underscore Amelia um to stay consistent and hold yourself accountable so i still worked out y'all i went to my garage and even though it was cold i put on a hoodie i i did my 1000 jumps i got on the treadmill and i walked two miles and then i did arms and, and i was just like so happy i did that i did four sets of 25 push-ups and i did four sets of 25 crunches and so if you don't know what to do at home you know just get on youtube get on instagram get on tiktok and look for some things that you can do at home don't be discouraged stay motivated and hold yourself accountable so if y'all want to follow my instagram go to it at accountable underscore amelia so i'm trying to hold myself accountable and i hope you are trying to do the same thing not because it's 2024 but just because you overall want to feel and look good you want to stay healthy but i'll stop rambling on about that today's video will be about me talking about this new coffee i'm about to try going to target working out and then that's pretty much it for my day i want to vlog more i feel like in 2023 i did not vlog consistently i think in 2023 i only uploaded like maybe 10 to 12 videos throughout the entire year and if I want to be successful and be a content creator I have to upload more videos like this has to be a weekly thing you know what I'm saying so come 2024 at the end of the year I want to be able to say I uploaded over like 50 videos or more you know god willing um i am here to see another day to be able to create and upload videos okay okay so the bad story in history in regards to this coffee so i was in the office yesterday one of the soldiers walked in because she was on staff duty and you know i said how was your christmas how was your new year's and she told me and she said well how was yours chief and so i said it was pretty good you know no complaints you know christmas was amazing i spent so much money for christmas y'all and then i let her know that me and my husband went to savannah for for New Year's and we had a good time and she said well okay chief what did you get for Christmas and I said I got two Tefal purses I got a Tefal wallet you know I got a pair of sneakers um I got a new Pandora necklace I got a Pandora charm like I got so much stuff for Christmas this year y'all I'm like so grateful and thankful and then when I think about it I'm just like man I have some good friends I have a good spouse and I have you know good kids because my kids even got me stuff too for Christmas and so either way that's neither here nor there in regards to the coffee right I let her know like hey I got a gift card for the morning jump and if you have been rocking with me and you have been subscribed to my channel and you follow me on Instagram and TikTok y'all know I love the morning jump like it's just that coffee means everything to me so she was like well hey chief why don't you go to seven brew their coffee is cheaper than the morning jump and after you purchase the third coffee you can get a free one and I was like oh dang and so a small coffee so I'll tell y'all you know the coffee at the morning jump if i get a small is 675 and i usually get the golden knight with coconut milk iced this morning i went to seven brew and i got a blondie for five dollars and ten cents and it's in a size small now the recommendation was to get this one because the soldiers herself and my PBO NCO know I like caramel and so the recommendation was to get the blondie and so I went over there you know the line was short I'm sorry y'all like I'm in the parking lot hopefully I can edit this video so y'all can see and it's not too dark so I went over there got the blondie the line wasn't long it was two vehicles over there and that was another thing she said hey chief after you get a third drink you get one free for one and for two they're cheaper and for three the line is not long so you won't have to wait too long and so I was like okay let me go over there I'll try it out now I don't like to try new things but I was just like what harm could it be I mean I do have a gift card but it is what it is let me just go over there and try it I may be surprised for one and for two I want a free coffee you can never go wrong with getting free stuff right so I was passing by the morning jump and the morning jump is on the way coming on post and of course I was passing by you know Tyson walks out and who's like hey Amelia like what you doing and I was like oh sorry Tyson like I'm about to go to Seven Brew and he was like what you're not gonna you're not gonna um leave us hanging you're not gonna switch over and da, 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 da. and I was like Tyson I have to try some something else the soldiers recommended it you know we should 
should be able to, you know, spread love to, to everybody in regards to, um, you know, helping out businesses or whatever. Um, both of y'all are located by the gate, so it ain't like it's an issue. And the Morning Jump, they constantly get customers. Like, the Morning Jump's line is like 20 compared to Seven Brew is like five, right? And so I was just like, listen, I'm gonna go see what they talking about. You know, if I don't like it, of course I'm gonna come back because I'm loyal to y'all. He was like, yeah, we veteran owned. And I was like, okay, Tyson, I get it. Anyway, I went, I signed up, you know, they got my phone number for my points and so I can earn a free drink and my coffee was $5.10 and I got the blondie. So I'm about to do the taste test and let y'all know what I think. So. It's given basic. And you know, and it could just because it could be just because I'm so used to the morning jump. And this is what the small looks like, y'all. But it's giving it a do. It's giving basic. It's giving a little hint of caramel. It's giving just stick with the morning jump. It's giving if you are short on some cash, go to Seven Brew. It's given, if you don't really know what coffee, real coffee is, go to Seven Brew. So, listen, I'll say, I'm gonna give them an overall rating, right? So, Seven Brew, in regards to the ratings compared to the Morning Jump, right? The Morning Jump line be about 20, but it, it goes really fast, and so I'll be in line for like five minutes total. Seven Brew has like two cars, three cars, and so I'll get through in like two minutes. The Morning Jump coffee is $6.75 for a small. Seven Brew coffee is $5.10 for a small. The Morning Jump's coffee, listen, immaculate taste-wise. Seven Brew Coffee, basic. Given just just borderline, like if, if if you don't know what real coffee tastes like, then go to Seven Brew. Customer service wise, I would say the Morning Jump, hands down. I know everybody over there: Tyson, Mariah, Cat, uh, Trinity. I know everybody at the Morning Jump. Seven Brew, I don't know nobody. I mean, I just went over there for the first time, but I'm pretty sure I can get to know them. Um, they were friendly though. Um, so on a scale of, I guess you say five star, the morning jump, five star. And this is the last thing, right? The morning jump has breakfast food. Seven Brew doesn't have food. So I was like, I can't order no food. Like I'm gonna be starving all day. And he was like, well, we got cookies. I don't want no cookie for breakfast. I'm over here trying to, you know, have my proteins. I'm trying to eat enough calories because I'm trying to gain weight. I'm trying to bulk. I'm trying to gain muscle and all of that. That's why I'm working out. So guess what, y'all? I'm going to be starving come lunchtime. I didn't get nothing to eat. They didn't have any food. So the number one spot to go to will always be the morning jump. And then if I'm on a budget, not even if I'm on a budget, because if I ain't got no money, I just ain't got no money. Like, that's crazy. I would still go to the morning jump. I would still go to the morning jump. If somebody got me a gift card for Seven Brew, I would use it. But, no. So that's pretty much it in regards to the comparison between the morning jump and Seven Brew. Hands down, the morning jump is five star. Seven Brew, I say a 3.5. And the reason why a 3.5 is because they don't have any breakfast food and their coffee is basic. Now, the service was nice. It was fast. Um, but, nah, I'm... I'm I'm good on I'm good on seven brew, right? So like I said, I am going to Target during my lunch break. I'm gonna grab me something to eat, not really sure yet. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all everything that Target has, and then once I get to the gym, I'm gonna show y'all a little little bit of things that I do if I can. It's kind of hard to record and vlog because you cannot record people while you are at the gym. And so you have to be careful and you have to be mindful of who is in the background when you are recording because you have to ask their permission. And I'm not doing all that, okay? I'm just, either I'm gonna show y'all some of my workout or I'm gonna tell y'all what I did or either I'll come back after I'm done with the workout on the back end and let y'all know what I did. But I'll try to insert some clips and, and y'all and let y'all know how it go. But um, I hope y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video and let me know if you have any questions. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get our day started and go to work and be 
productive. Yeah, Target sold out of all of the Yetis and they barely have anything left. So I'm gonna try, try to go online. These coffee cups are $5, which are cute. So I came to Target and they sold out of all of the Yeti cups. The lady said within like five or 10 minutes and people was grabbing 20 cups at a time. I feel like that's crazy. They have a lot of candy, which I'm pretty sure I have to get for a Phoenix class to pass out to the students. So one of the sales associates told me to come check in sports goods for some of the Stanley cups, but, but these are the only colors that I see. Um, they're not pink, they're not red, they're not Valentine's. Oh, this is cute. To go food jar. Hmm. $34.99. But this is not what I came for, and I already have a Stanley cup and it's white, and so this is not what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave because they didn't have what I seen. I guess everything sold out, especially with the Stanley Cups. She said that people were grabbing like five and 10 at a time and they sold out within like the first 10, 15 minutes. So. Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Friday. Today is January the 5th, 2024. And so I just wanna let y'all know what happened yesterday in regards to my Thursday, which was January the 4th. Um, I went to Target to see if I can get me some Stanley Cups or a Stanley Cup and just shop around for some Valentine's Day things that I seen on Instagram. I also wanted to get the Valentine's Day coffee cup. Everything in Target, <clears throat> the Target that I am close to, that I went to yesterday, was completely sold out of of everything Valentine's Day related, minus the candy. So there was different aisles of candy. I didn't want no candy. I wanted a Stanley cup, either in the color of pink or red. The sales associate told me that within the first 10 minutes, there was customers who came and grabbed 10 to 20 Stanley Cups at a time. Now, I'm not sure how much the Stanley Cups was selling for, but I felt like it was like very inconsiderate to go into Target and get red and pink Stanley Cups because they are a Valentine's Day theme and just grab them and not think about you know, leaving a Stanley Cup for no one else. And then I also feel like they, or the Stanley Cups, should be limited to um, each customer. So I would say like maybe no more than three per customer, but you, you talking about you're coming up in there and you're grabbing 10 to 20 Stanley Cups. And the reason why they are doing that is because they are reselling the Stanley Cups. Like I was on Instagram and it shows that Stanley Cups and TikTok Shop are selling Stanley Cups, the pink and red ones for $200. And I'm just like, what? So that was that yesterday in regards to Target. That was an epic fail. Didn't get anything Valentine's Day related. Also, um, what else? I went to T-Mobile, I went to Verizon. Long story, don't wanna tell y'all about it. It's just the longest story in history. And then after that, I went to the noodle company and got me some shrimp pasta, and I got me a bottle of water, and so that's what I had for lunch. I had to go pick Phoenix up early from daycare yesterday, so like maybe around 4.30. I had plans on going to the gym right after work, but since my husband cannot leave before 4.30, I went ahead and picked Phoenix up, and then Phoenix had basketball practice from six to seven. So I I was not able to go to the gym um yesterday and i thought about working out in the garage and i just do not get the same workout and at that point i was tired it was late and so i was like you know what today is going to be a better day in regards to me going to the gym because i want to stay consistent and i want to hold myself accountable i didn't hold myself accountable yesterday but i feel like there will be days where i will be able to and i won't be able to and then i'll just go hard you know what i'm saying when i do go back to the gym and with going to the gym and being consistent there needs to be a plan and 
And so I plan on going on Amazon to get me a journal log. And I also want to go to Dits today to look for me a gym bag. I do not have nothing to put my things in. So like right now, my sneakers are on the back seat. My jump rope and my protein are in my purse. Um, my Stanley Cup, when I go inside the gym, I'm like hand carrying that thing. So I have my, my Stanley Cup in my hand when I'm going inside the gym. I have my, my purse with all my stuff in it that I'm going inside the gym with. And I have my sneakers in my hand. And my workout clothes, I either have those in my hand or I either have them tucked in my purse. And so I do need a big enough gym bag and so today for lunch i will be doing that i have to cancel my pbo nco today an initial counseling um because it's been over 30 days so i'm gonna do that i have some dailies that i have to close out today because it's the end of the week it is friday and then i have a pbo change of command in brief and last but not least i have a pap smear I have not had a pap smear in like seven years. So Phoenix is seven. I had him. I did my six to eight week checkup and then that was it. I have not been back to the doctor for anything in regards to a Wells woman exam. And I know that's bad and I know y'all are probably looking like, girl, what are you doing with your life? The only things I have been to the doctor for is like pain in my neck, um, alopecia because I needed a referral for that, which I got, and birth control. But outside of that, I have not been to like a doctor to sit down and have them look at me, exam me none of that um and i also had to go for like med pro stuff like getting my shots and stuff updated the flu shot my hiv well basically blood drawn um and so yeah that's what today is going to consist of in regards to like my friday but before i go inside the office because i have time it is currently 8 48 i want to tell y'all or show y'all what i got for breakfast my phone is just going off like i'm just getting text messages text messages in the group chats and all of that um but anyway, so I went to Tropical Cafe Smoothie this morning and I wanna go over the ingredients and the protein and the reason behind why I am focused on how much protein I am um, eating throughout the day. And so eating adequate amounts of protein helps you maintain your muscle mass and promotes muscle growth when you are doing strength training, right? And so this morning I got a peanut butter paradise. And with inside the peanut butter paradise smoothie, it comes with peanut butter, banana, non-fat yogurt, and you have a choice of pea or whey protein. I decided to get the whey protein and that consists of 38 grams of protein just for that smoothie. I also got a spinach feta and pesto wrap. And it comes with eggs, spinach, feta cheese, mozzarella, and roasted peppers, and that has 17 grams of protein, and you can also add protein to the wrap if you choose to. And then last but not least, I got the chai pudding oatmeal bowl, and the chai pudding oatmeal bowl comes with chai seeds, quinoa, coconut milk, oats, Greek yogurt, blueberries, bananas, honey drizzle, granola, and I also added peanut butter to it for an extra $1.29, and that consists of 14 grams of protein. And it is so good, y'all. And Miss Felicia makes these. So I go to the same Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And depending on who is there, they don't make it the same. Like, it still tastes the same. But I think, like, with Miss Felicia, she puts um, more granola in it. I don't know. It just tastes better. But this is how it looks. It's so good, y'all. And so, go ahead and go into the office and get my morning started because I have a lot of things to do to close out my Friday. Also, Jaden has a basketball game. After I do everything that I need to do for work, I am going to the gym, y'all. I am going to the gym. I'm super excited about it because I didn't go yesterday. And I have my pre-workouts. I have my headphones. Let me show y'all my pre-workout that I... And see, this is what I'm talking about in regards to not having a gym bag. I just grab everything from out my purse. This is the pre-workout that I'm currently using. It is vegan friendly and it has zero sugars. And these are my blue headphones. I got my jump rope. I just need to get a gym bag. So hopefully today when I go to Dits during my lunch break, um, I can find a reasonable price one. I know the small ones are cheaper and the big ones, of course, it makes sense for the small ones to be cheaper and the large ones to be, you know, more on the expensive side. But if I can't find one in 
dits, then I'll probably just get on Amazon and order a gym bag. I also was not able to go to Ross or Marshalls. And the last time I went to Ross and Marshalls to look for workout clothes, it was just like a hot mess. Like nothing was coordinated, everything. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know why I said I was gonna go to Ross and Marshalls to look for workout clothes because I usually order from off of Amazon or I order from Gymshark or Women's Best. And those workout sets tend to be amazing. Like as far as the fit and all of that. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my day started. I hope y'all are enjoying this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you have any questions. So I am at Dits. This is the gym bag section. And there are more. I think I'm gonna get a Nike one. I like, I feel like I seen this one online. I did. And I thought it was blue, but in person it looks kind of like purple. Let's see how much this one is. 42 isn't so bad. This one is 45. It is Under Armour. I feel like the selection online is way bit better. They also have some over here. I think I'm gonna get the Nike one because you can basically put the shoes at the bottom of the gym bag and then they have more spaces and pouches on the side. Oh, this one is nice. So I decided to get this one. It's a little small but I feel like everything that I need to go to the gym with will fit in here so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on the floor and the price is $30 and then they have these big ones and it's 42 so it's a $12 difference this one just has more space hey y'all so today is Sunday January the I am at the gym. I went ahead and stretched and I got on the treadmill for two miles And so now I'm about to go inside one of the rooms and jump and do my 1,000 jumps And then I have a workout that I plan on doing today and I have been using the on you app by Hannah and today's workout will consist of lower body and the lower body will be the abductor machine, three sets, the barbell squats, one, two, three, four, five sets, the dumbbell Bulgarian split squat, three sets, and the leg press, three sets. And it does have the option to warm up. But I have been loving this app because it helps me keep track of what I need to work on and target as far as like my muscles every day. So. I'm going to end this vlog with let y'all know that I came to the gym. Again, today is Sunday, January the 7th. I hope everyone had a great week. I hope y'all continue to watch my vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe, like, like, and comment if you have any questions down below.
So y'all, I decided to go with the small gym bag. This is my jacket, so it looks like it's taking up majority of the space for the gym bag, but it's not. I'm gonna put this on because it's cold outside. But I decided to get the small Nike gym bag and I got the large one for my husband. And so I have my tripod, of course my cell phone. I have some sweatpants to put on after. I just got finished working out. Um, I have my pre-workout, I have my bands. I have some perfume in here, my headphone case, some lotion, and then this is like a travel size bag. I have hand sanitizer in it, gel, lip gloss, um, tit tats, eye drops, and some Advil, just some things to put in here to bring with me. I also have a shirt. It has two small compartments on each side. And so on this side, I think I believe I put like an extra sports bra in here. Um, my deodorant and an extra pair of socks. And on this side, I have my jump rope. And as you can see, it has this little small compartment on this side and it has a compartment in the front which I had my keys in here but I gave them to Jaden but overall I think this gym bag was perfect for me not too big not too small and if I need to upgrade I will but I got this from Dits it is a Nike gym bag and the cost was 30 bucks the large gym bag was 42 bucks like I said I got that from my husband and so if you are looking for a gym bag I want to use like military related gear to bring to the gym with you then go to Dits, or you can order something from off of Amazon if you are a Prime member and get it next day shipping. I am done with my workout. I had a good workout today. I did a thousand jumps. I got on the treadmill for two miles and I did legs. That's pretty much it for today's workout. I worked out for two hours. Um, I did not like cool down after my workout, but I did cool down after I ran two miles on the treadmill for five minutes. And so this is pretty much it for today's vlog. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it out, go home and reset, cause tomorrow is Monday, which is the first week going back to work. And I hope you all enjoyed your week and your weekend. Until next time, this is Amelia, peace.